it's everything that this team is. It's everything that it represents. It's everything that it feels like in the community uh, that has uh, Minnesota United earning the All-Star Game. I think the best part of it is just that it showcases all the dimensions of the community. It showcases how the community su supports soccer, uh, which it does. The community support for soccer has been absolutely fabulous from day one. Hey! And the fan support has been outstanding. I remember Commissioner Garber, when he announced that we were going to host the All-Star Game, said the community has absolutely earned the right to host the game, and I think the community has. So the support for it's been terrific. But it's a really great showcase for soccer all week. It's a big week, I think, for Minnesotans to be proud of what they've done. The soccer fans who over the decades have put so much into the sport, to be proud of that everybody's coming here this week, everybody will be here. I'm here for a good game. Yeah. 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 Well, you got the Puma jersey on. Well, my my favorite player is here. Yeah. Uh, Juan Dineno on, on Pumas. Yeah, first time in the stadium. It's awesome. It's a nice stadium. Just the atmosphere. I mean, the rivalry between MLS Liga MX is is great, and to feel that how many people are here to cheer on Liga MX is pretty astounding. We've played a lot of times uh, since last season, you know, and, and this season this is a very soccer stadium, it's amazing, it's new, and the city is treating us pretty well. Mexico versus the U.S. is going to be an outstanding... <laughs> well, you said it, there is no love lost between Liga MX and MLS. There's always been a talk about which, which league is better, right? And when you talk about the All-Star Game and the All-Star Skills Challenge, they get to pit their skills and put them to the test. And it's, it's an exciting time. It get, always gets a little bit chippy on the field. So it's something that everybody should come check out and see. It's not like a normal All-Star game. There's real energy, real push to win the game. But seeing the more, com more competitive US versus Mexico, that's just, it's awesome. And then all the stars. I mean, Chicharito and all these guys. What would you wish for your birthday then? Oh, I totally wish for an MLS win. And, uh, and a Reynoso MVP. And, yep, and a Reynoso goal. Let's, let's just do it. Yep. When you go to the, to the field, um, like the people, like sharing your name, talking about you, like you were the, the center of the, of the game at that moment, that, that help you, helps you to do the performances that you do in the game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I play, I play here every week, so the, the fans definitely know me and they've supported me throughout the whole season. Since I joined the team, they've supported me. So really to be able to, to give a performance like that in an event like this in front of them has been uh, really nice. And I mean, I was no, like Adrian said, it's no surprise that they showed up tonight because they show up every weekend. Oh, we were hoping to see a lot of action. The header in the beginning, the goal was really awesome. I think, you know, especially when we scored our goals, it got super loud, which was great, great to hear. We are the Thunderwall. We are the normal Minnesota United drumline, and we're just here having fun tonight during the All-Star match. Our goal is to make sure that when you are here, you're having fun. And with a little bit of rhythm added, and we support our players on the field, and the community of the Wonderwall as a whole, and Allianz Field as a whole. Wanted to see the best of the best out there, and you know, he, he likes to watch all the players and learn from them. And, do the flashy things that they do. And... Yeah, truly an honor, I think, uh, to be able to have a performance like this in front of the fans that support us every week um, has really been a, a true honor. I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. You know, it's obviously a, a, mid, a midweek game in between, uh, in between games uh, in the MLS regular league. So I didn't know what kind of intensity it was, but, you know, the game, uh, they came out firing and uh, we came out firing. So that just set the tone from the very beginning. And then from there is kind of have to match that if you're coming on um, so that's what we try to do yeah it was uh, it was a great experience you know I, I think being my first one it was awesome to be out, out here and um, you know it was a big honor it was great it was great stands from from both sides so that made it really fun the most pleasing thing of the, the last two or three days for me has been the way that the club had shown itself. I knew the people
would turn up. I didn't think that so many would turn up last night in the skills game. That speaks volumes. And then tonight, I knew the stadium would be full tonight. You know, it's been a it's been a great way to showcase what the club is about. And you know, I, I'm so pleased for all the ownership who believed in everything that we've tried to do here. And it shows six years in, the club is now firmly on the map. And I think that we can only get bigger and stronger and better. Um, it just shows there's a great level of support of soccer here, which is uh, which is which is a good thing for the country.